In this short video, we're going to cover the details of how to properly apply polyvinyl alcohol, so PVA. Stay tuned. All right, maybe you're starting to make a mold for your project and you're going to use wax and PVA as your release method. Now, normally I use a chemical release agent, but in the molds that I'm making right now uh, for my project car, I have to make a two-piece mold and it's just a lot easier to use a wax and PVA method uh, than it is to use a chemical release agent. The only problem is if you search on YouTube and you try to find the definitive application guide, you find everything from soup to nuts. So I'm, I'm sure this will start the holy wars uh, of mold Mold making. So you find everything for your PVA application from brushing, wiping, uh, what did I see? Spraying, of course, uh, all dipping. I've seen everything. Uh, anyway, and I've, I've had some fatal flaws actually with my PVA application. So I like to get this right. Now, I happened to be out, so I went to my local fiberglass supplier and I simply asked one of the techs there. I said, hey, uh, how do you do this? And he asked me how I was applying it. And I told him I was spraying it. Uh, and when I spray it, I said, you know, I just sort of wait until I get this sort of green mist. And he said, that's way too much. That's your problem. That's why you're uh, getting inconsistencies in your PVA application. Okay, so uh, here's the top tip for how to do PVA. Okay, so if you're like me and you're used to spraying automotive paints, I almost always spray with my fluid uh, needle all the way dialed out. All right, so in fact, when I set my gun up, when I'm first uh, finished cleaning it, the first thing I do is when I'm winding in the fluid control nozzle, I just wait until I feel it uh, touch uh, as I'm pulling the trigger back. And then that's where I leave my gun set all the time. This is exactly the wrong setting for applying PVA. So what you want to do is take that needle, wind it all the way in, Okay, so there, I can't trigger the gun at all. And then in this case, for, for my gun, I take it out about half a turn, right? That's enough, no more than half a turn. All right, so that's the top tip. So you're gonna really, you're, you're the finest of mist. All right, so the, uh, the fiberglass professional that I talked to said, the finest, if you see it, it's too much. You can still apply three coats, it's still there, it's doing its job, but it's a super thin film. All right, so I'm just gonna load up the gun and I'm gonna show you how we get this on the molds that I'm making right now. So I'm just pouring it straight in, uh, no reducing. And I know I don't need much. And I'm gonna show you why I always use a filter. There's always something in your PVA. <laughs> okay, just a little in the cup, not much at all. This particular gun happens to be an ANS Iwata LPH 400. Uh, so it's a reasonably decent spray gun, actually. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's a low pressure gun, so it doesn't really consume a whole lot of air. It's a really good choice for home gamers. Uh, and in this case, 16 PSI at the inlet. Uh, is equivalent to 10 PSI at the cap, which is uh, what's required, is just 10 PSI, right? So this does not require a whole ton of air in order to do this. And again, hardly any fluid. All right, so let's plug the air in and get this rolling. All right, so I'm just about ready to start spraying and um, we're gonna have a look. So I just, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up very well, but uh, when I'm pulling the trigger, you should barely be able to see anything come out of the gun. Let's see if it works. Okay, so barely anything is coming out of there. It's all, it's spraying, it dries almost instantly. That's, that's all you need. So let's apply it to the molds. So they've been waxed, everything's ready to go. Let's flip up my respirator. Okay, so the droplets are so very fine, that's, that's what you want. You want them to be uh, extremely fine so when they atomize, right, so when they're getting blasted by that air, uh, they're able to go out. So if you have too much fluid flow, what'll happen is uh, the, the droplets will be uh, quite large, right, and then they'll try to coalesce, uh, so they'll try to get together, and then that's gonna create all kinds of problems, runs and, and other things with PVA. So now we're gonna let that just set up for a few minutes, 
Uh, and then, it, don't worry, it's there. I mean, at first when you do this, you're going to think I'm crazy. Uh, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful. Uh, and that's all you need, right? So we're going to do uh, three coats like that with around five minutes between each one. And that's going to be the whole deal. It's going to be ready to go. Okay, so after two quick mist coats, that's what it looks like. So it's not green at all, but it sure does have a nice shine to it. And uh, that's all that's needed in this case. So that's, that's done, folks. There Woohoo! <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so that's the tricky side of the mold, right? The side that's got the weird angle. Uh, and I you know, like gel coat application and everything else. That is just, she is absolutely perfect. Anyway, so that's my quick video on how to apply polyvinyl alcohol. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, I hope it helps you out on your project. Anyway, uh, we'll catch you on the next episode and stay safe, people. Uh, as a release to get the to get the dog to stop barking while you're doing your intro.